Hey everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I am participating in the Look for Less Challenge, which Yami from the Latina Next Door came up with. And it's basically where you take an item, a home decor item, from somewhere that might be out of your price range and then try to recreate it yourself for less money. And she is going to choose a new co-host every time she does this. This time her co-host is Heidi Somble. So you guys need to check out both of their channels, which I will link down below so you can see their videos in this challenge and also the other wonderful things that they do here on YouTube. There will also be a playlist for this challenge and I will link that down below as well so you can stop by there after you're done here. Let's go ahead and get started and see what I've done. So for the look for less, I started shopping around Pottery Barn. And I love Pottery Barn, I love the style, I love everything that they have, but my wallet doesn't. So I decided to take a look at the wall decor that they have, and I came across this pressed botanical wall art, and I thought it was really pretty and it would look perfect in my house. However, the price tag was $4.99. It was on sale for $3.99, but unfortunately that was still too high for my budget. So I decided this would be the perfect opportunity to create this look hopefully for less. So to get started on this art, I purchased these nine wooden frames from the Dollar Tree. And let me tell you guys, these frames were really hard to find at Dollar Tree. Um, when I found the picture on Pottery Barn of what I wanted to do, I knew that these frames were going to work perfectly, but finding them was another challenge. So I went to four different Dollar Trees and finally found all nine of them that I needed. There you can see that I was just taking the stands off the back of them because I didn't need that. This is some brown craft paper that I purchased from the Dollar Tree also. And this is just going to be for the backing uh, to the dried flowers. So that's what I'm doing with the craft paper here. I'm just cutting a big piece. And then I, am take, I took the back out of the frame and used the insert in the frame as a template to cut nine pieces of the craft paper for the backing. So after I cut the craft paper, I needed some flowers for my wall art. So I went outside to my flower beds and I just cut some flowers around my yard and then I'm going to dry them out. I dried my flowers by placing them in the microwave and I placed the flowers between two pieces of paper towel and then I placed a heavy plate on top of them and then I turned the microwave on in 15 second increments and checked on them after each 15 seconds until they were dried out. And I actually learned this method from two fellow creators here on YouTube doing a DIY floral challenge um, a while back. And the first person I learned it from was Lacey from Lacey Space. She dried some leaves out this way. And then the second person was Carrie from Carrie's Corner. And she actually also did a dried floral wall art piece. So I will leave their channels linked down below if you want to go ahead and check them out and see what they did. But this is a quick and easy method to dry out flowers and it worked perfectly for me. Next I just dry brushed my frames with some white chalk paint just to match the coloring of the Pottery Barn ones. After the frames were all painted and they dried, which it didn't take long for them at all to dry because I didn't put very much paint on them in the first place, uh, it was time to put them all together. So for that I used a combination of E6000 and hot glue. And I used the hot glue because I wanted it to dry quickly. Um, 
because I was making this video and I didn't want to wait for the E6000 to dry overnight. So this will just help reinforce it and make it stronger anyways. So you can see here, what I'm doing is just gluing three rows of three frames together. And then after I get all of them glued together this way, I am going to take each row and glue them to each other. And then that will give me my picture frame for my pressed flowers. So what I'm doing here is I decided to take some popsicle sticks that I just had lying around the house. Mm, they're not used popsicle sticks. They're just <laughs> popsicle sticks, you know, like the craft sticks. That's what I should have said, craft sticks. They're craft sticks and I'm hot gluing them to each seam of the pictures just so that way the frame will be more sturdy and when you pick it up, it won't be as floppy. The last and final step was to place my dried flowers into the frames. And all I did was take the backing off and the inserts out. And then I just placed my dried flowers onto the glass. I cut them if I needed to, to make them fit inside. And then I just placed that craft paper that I had pre-cut into the back of the frame. And then I put the backing back on the frame. I really loved how this pressed botanical wall art turned out and I can't beat the fact that I only paid $10 to make this. It might be a little bit smaller than what Pottery Barn was selling it for, but I think it still gives the same effect. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my look for less, my Pottery Barn inspired DIY. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you to Yami and Heidi for hosting this challenge. It was so much fun, and I look forward to participating in the next look for less challenge hosted by Yami and somebody else. So uh, if you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to hit the bell if you don't want to miss out on any new videos. And I will see you guys tomorrow in my next challenge video. Take care. Bye-bye.